again, there was nothing uh, pretty or fancy about what they were doing out there. Did you think they'd be able to kind of manhandle you the way they ultimately did? Not really. We knew exactly what they were doing. They um, just out executed us. You know, they came, we knew it was going to be a hard nosed football game, and we came to play. We didn't show up when we needed to. You guys are on the field a lot. Did that, you know, Houston kind of pounding away and being out there so much, did that take a toll eventually? I don't, I don't think it took a toll. I mean, we're used to our guys pounding us, so we just, we know every play is. We have to take advantage of that play and do what we need to do to get our offense back on the field. So, I mean, like I said, they just did what they had to do to come up with the victory. Did you make any adjustments at that time? Change things around? Yeah, we made a few adjustments, and um, I think it, it helped us out a lot. But, you know, we can only control so much we they had excellent plan and like they just executed and our guys missed it we missed a couple tackles and you know they kept running and I mean it's just a hard football game to play. You know, they're they come out fired up and we come out fired up and it's just a battle of you know the hard nose who, whoever wants it the most and it seemed like today they wanted it more. When you get when you got that interception late in the third quarter, it looked like you guys had all the momentum. How big was it that they picked you right back off? Oh, that was very big. We um just a you know it's a momentum game and the swing of the momentum just turned everything right around. And our offense and our defense had to come right back out and and try to stop them again. That's just that's just how the game is played. Just do anything to the confidence that you guys have built up over the previous three games. No, we know that it's only bad if we don't build off of it. So we're, we know what we have to do. We've been in this situation before. So we're just going to continue to do what we do and, and come back Monday, Tuesday, and keep working and, and get ready for uh, Georgia Tech. Talk about Houston as a running back, what he, you know, how tough he was on you guys, what he did well. He did everything well. He, he pounded us. You know, he cut back when he when he needed to, had the chance, <clears throat> and he just used whatever whatever um he could see. He used his vision, and whatever we gave him, that's what he took. Is he comparable to any other backs you've seen? You know, this size? is he comparable to any other backs you've seen this year, this size and stuff? Or is he kind of a, a unique back? It was. He was kind of unique. We haven't really seen any big bruiser backs like that. You know, most of the guys are, are faster and more shifty guys. So it was, we knew he was gonna, we didn't think he was gonna be the one that got most of the carries, but he ended up getting them. So we had to, you know, buckle down and try to hit him as hard as we can to make tackles. Did you play at all for, for Houston or was it more when you were your game plan where you focus more on Sean Drone? But we weren't really focusing on which back would play. We just thought he would play more. And that didn't really change anything. We just know that it was a bigger back and he wasn't, he's not going to be as fast or he's going to pound us more. And we know we had to um, handle that and hit him as hard, hit him, hit him back, you know, because he's running downhill. And I don't think that, that didn't change anything. We just, knew what we had to do and it was a different type of running style. Is that type of back more frustrating to face since they're, you know, taking so much time off the clock and you know, accumulating so many carries versus a back who may have a one big play and then uh, but the offense gets back on the field later? No, all the backs are great, so it didn't matter who they put back there, it was still would have been the same. We just, you know, had to execute whatever whatever they had back there, we needed to execute and, and we did it and we didn't we came up short. Were you surprised that the game got that physical, you know, given given the two teams, the way the two teams, were you su surprised at all that it turned into such a physical contest? Not at all. We knew it was going to be physical. It's physical every year. You know, that's that's what you get when, you, when you're playing rivalry games. You know, we, I mean, that's all we get, we, we thought. I mean, coming in the game, we just said we're going to have to out-hit them and then 
and keep focusing on the next play. Just keep hitting them, keep hitting them, and then we're down. And you know we didn't we didn't hit them hard enough. I guess. Thank you, Leon. Thaddeus Lewis.